Hi guys, good morning, good morning. I am so confused and I'm thinking maybe you guys can help me. So I did a little oopsie and I'm sorry about the lighting. It is really early morning and that's why my voice sounds the way it is. Um, so I put these in here just to mark the difference between white paper and, and the dyed paper that I did. So, hello. Uh, the mistake I did was using the material I did for dyeing. I figured it might be a mistake, but... Mm. And I want to know if you guys made any similar mistakes or if you guys made something, maybe, maybe it's just me. Okay, so what I did, uh, I found small berries in the freezer. So this is white paper, regular white copy paper, printer paper. Um, so I had some berries in the freezer, uh, a bag of black currant, like a little bag that I picked. And it's uh, several years old. It's been stuck in the back of the freezer. You know how it is. Uh, so I figured I didn't want to eat them. And I didn't just want to throw them away. So I figured, let's see if we can dye with them. Let's see if we can dye paper with them. And I figured maybe the sugars from the berries would make them sticky. And yes, it did. So for the first time, I have a ton of broken, messed up papers. They got stuck to each other and ripped. And... Uh, yeah, that's not nice. Let's see if we can move you into the light a little bit more. Let's go into the light. I have one light here, but most of my light come from behind me. So, yeah. So this is, yeah, this is what happened to most of the papers. They got stuck to each other. As you can see, it's it's loose, lost a layer here. And so I have a lot of broken papers in this. I even throw threw some away. But I figured I can iron these and do something else with them. However, today, the drying process got to the bottom layer. And what confused me, as you can see, these are all like blue-purple kind of color. Now to the bottom layer that I was just going to peel off. First of all, they stick to everything. So they stick. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, but they stick to the towel. They stick to everything. They stick to each other, and if it, and I figured it might have been, might be better if I put more water in so it's more diluted. That might help. I don't know. But this, I don't know how well this shows up. But this one is very purple. It has a lot of purple and uh, and a lot of pink mixed in with the purple. The final layer, the bottom layer. But they also have, like this one has a lot of turquoise, like here, here, here. It looks more turquoise or maybe teal. But uh, what surprised me the most, so I was sifting it several times to not get any, like, berry material in here that can get moldy. So I was trying to get more just juice. I had it mixed up with a little water, but not enough. Uh, so it, the consistency was kind of, it wasn't as liquid as I wanted it. So I figured this might happen, but I figured let's test it. It's just paper, but here's my confusion. So I was sifting it several times and the filters are pink. Why are the filters pink and the papers turn blue, blue, purple? I'm so confused. Can someone please tell me what, 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 what is this? What, why? What's the, what's the difference between the filter and the paper? And how can I get my papers to turn like this? Because this is kind of nice too. So I will not be able to do both, but I don't know what the difference is. So... Any ideas? Any ideas at all about this? Because I'm so super confused here. I'm putting in the white paper too to get the differences again. And I don't understand this. I am a very confused hag this morning. And now I need coffee. <laughs> I will see you soon. Hi guys, so this is Future Haggy here. Uh, I was just editing the previous video and uh, I want to go back to this a bit because I got even more confused. Let's see if I can, if I'm not sure. We're in different lighting right now than I had in 
the previous video and I have a different mic so I don't know how well this is gonna go so um the fun thing is when I iron these and iron the papers they change color slightly again now that lamp is gonna annoy me so um let me remove that ruler because shine and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more there we go. So uh, they changed color again and they changed back. This is the fun part. So these were really bright red. They had like this red color. I ironed them and they turned purple. And once they cooled down, they turned back to red, but slightly faded red. And I'm really uh, red, pink, whatever this is. Really confusing. I have no idea what's going on. Anyway, uh, so it sounded in when I filmed the previous video that uh, all the papers were like mucked up. And yes, there was a lot of, I'm gonna zoom up back out. Why does it change color? Uh, so there was a lot of, of like papers like this, but not as many as I thought. So there are a lot of papers that I can use. But another little thing that happened, oh, there it is, is when I put, it's not as visible now as it was. Uh, so I put uh, like these stencils on, you know, to get patterns and stuff. And I'm not sure how I can make it show up better. Should I remove that? Should I use that? might be better mm. I'm not sure it's picking up the kind of graininess and you can feel this it, it's actually kind of raspy but also on many of these the the place where the stencil was like here turned shiny I'm not sure I can get the camera to pick it up you see there a little bit in the corner but for several of them the whole area where the stencil was turned shiny and now of course yeah and this one you can see it too a bit here let's see if I can somehow oh come on I have three desk lights on right now and it should be very bright but my phone just knew it's not bright. Mm. I remove that one. That's better. Huh? Yeah, now you can see kind of the shine here. But for many of them, I mean, here I have these shiny spots too. At first I thought it was from the stencil, but it's something else that's going on. And I have no idea why. I'm going to zoom back out again. I have no idea what's going on. It's, it's really interesting and it's fun. I just wish I knew. Here's one of the completely broken papers. But I figured I can use some of it for tags and stuff. Because I still like some pretty cool patterns on here. So I don't want to toss it. I threw away some scraps but... I find this so interesting and I, oh look at this one this is the one I wanted to show you do you see the shine there where the stencil's been this is so this is so weird I have no idea what's going on and I would think that in the hole of the stencils in the stencil holes here you would get a color pattern because that's usually what happens it's that where I put the stencils and where the kind of dry faster in the holes that's where it gets darker so on the back side here I had this stencil on so you see this got darker and you can still kind of see the other stencils but that this one didn't turn darker but the area where the stencil was turned all shiny this is so weird this is the strangest and most interesting and funniest most enjoyable dye I've done in 
even though I was so sad that things got stuck and ripped because I really liked the colors and the patterns. I, I don't understand it. And this intrigues me. And this summer, this haggy is going to pick a lot of berries and test different techniques and different styles and mix in different things because, wow. So these are the ones that got de destroyed and I also threw some away. But I still have a lot of paper here that I can use. So, and some of them, when I touch them, are kind of grainy not so, it doesn't come off but you know when you touch it it feels kind of grainy and it's really interesting and i've been using two different kinds of paper but these are oh yeah envelopes too and i mean these are good to use this is one of the bottom layers i don't think the camera picks it up though i need better i need more light i don't know what else to do i have three desk lights on right now Plus, I have that ceiling light on. I don't know. But this this one turned... I don't know how well it picks up. But it's pink and it's grey and it's blue. And this is really raspy. Do you hear that? It's like super raspy. I don't know. I'm using... I got a new mic for Christmas that I'm trying to use. Uh, I keep forgetting it. <laughs> but I have it on this time. Wow! We saw it falling out so like these papers that are this college book paper really got kind of coarse and they they are the ones that picked up the most of the pink but there are also a lot of them that are not pink at all like those those are really dark they look gray and some look really purple and some have the shiny spots like this one has I don't I don't understand I don't understand what is making any of these. But these are so cool. These papers are so amazing. I love them and I have no idea how to reproduce some of the effects. Like the shiny effect. That is such a cool effect. And if any of you have ideas on why oops. Now I almost showing you what my next video will be about. Um, I've been filming a lot and something is happening when I don't know what stage is happening. Um, either it is between the editing and the computer or between the computer and YouTube. Somewhere the videos get corrupt. They look okay for me on the computer. They look okay for me in the editing. And I upload them to YouTube and I check them before I make them public. And they are corrupted. And I don't know what's going on. It's really frustrating. Now looking down at them. This one looks really purple. Hmm. This, this, is, this is the most interesting and fun and inspiring dye I've made. Because I have cat hair here. Cat hair here. Words hard. Okay, so it's uh, 4 a.m. <laughs> I should probably be heading to bed, but I was editing that start video and I wanted to put a little thing in there. So uh, back to the ending of the previous video. Love you guys. Bye.